Good morning, everybody. I just wanted to jump on here and um, put something out there that I've been going through that I think uh, I'm testing things. So as you guys know that have followed my story, um, I have rheumatoid arthritis and I have been getting infusions every four weeks. Um, they pushed it back to eight and then we're at every 10 weeks now. Um, so I was supposed to get my infusion two weeks ago. And as most of you know that I got a divorce um, in December and with that I lost my insurance. So I had to get different insurance. And when I registered for my insurance, I ended up um, like making sure my rheumatoid doctor was on there, blah, 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 blah. So fast forward to my appointment, they ended up um, telling me they don't cover my insurance. So I had to go and get different insurance. Long story short, my new insurance won't go into effect until um, March 1st. So my infusion at that point will be pushed back 15 weeks. So originally when I wanted to push back my infusion, the doctor was just very like, we don't usually go past 12 weeks. Um, I'll push you back to 10. We'll see how you do. So today's 12 weeks and I feel fine. I have no symptoms of my RA and I um, decided to do a little test. So I've been supplementing with CBD now for two years straight and um, it's one of those things that I know like a lot of people have jumped on to try it and they try it for a month and they're like, it doesn't work. And literally I have taken it for two years straight every day and it has changed so many things in my life, but this I'm a little scared of. Like I was kind of okay with, um, just like supplementing with the CBD with the infusion just because I was in such a bad place and I ended up, um, I like don't ever want to go back there. So like there's a little piece of me that's like frightened right now, but, um, I have no choice cause I can't afford to, um, pay the infusion price out of pocket. So, but I feel fine. So we're going that route. So this month I decided to, um, spend the extra money um, and buy the premium gold applicator, which is Canaway's um, highest dose. It's 120 milligrams per serving, and um, I'm going to see what happens. So I have been taking 50 milligrams of the full spectrum now for two years, so uh, a day. So I'm, I'm making a test here, but as of today... I am pain-free, no signs of my RA, and I'm 12 weeks out. And, you know, my doctors have been on the fence whether this would be able to be how I maintain my RA or not. So I'm going to dose myself up, and I'm going to see what happens. And um, who knows? Maybe March will come, and I'll decide not to even have my infusion if I feel fine. So anyway, I just wanted to share this little adventure I'm on and um, I really hope that I don't ever have to have another infusion but um, it's just it the can away stuff that you know everybody gets into this for different reasons and I started you know only selling this because I was telling so many people about it and you know people have seen my results and they just can't even believe like how far I've come but um, you know it's, it's a frightening thing when you have an illness that you're not in control of and it's controlled by, um, you know, your insurance and, you know, my health care. I, you know, can't have it. And so, like, you ha sometimes have to look for other resources. And um, this is the greatest thing that's ever come into my life. And I really hope that this is the answer and I'll figure out a way to make, you know... Um, it work because it's very easy to supplement free product selling this. So in the end, 
this may be the cheaper route for me because my, my new insurance is terrible and I'm paying a lot a month, but I have a high deductible. So with my infusions, you know, I'll probably meet my deductible in my first sitting. So if I could get this for free because I'm selling it, it's like a no brainer. So I just, I, I really, um, this journey has been crazy for me and um, I, I just really, really, you know, this is a big experiment for me and, you know, I'm hoping this, this, this is the answer and, you know, I have, my doctors are all like, you know, afraid for me because my disease is very bad and so, you know, uh, you know, they're like, we'll call you in steroids, we'll, you know, whatever, but I just lost, well, 67 pounds. I was, um, I had put on, I was on 30 milligrams of steroids a day and, um, I'm not willing to go back. So even if the pain's bad, I'm not doing that again. So, um, but as of right now, like I said, I'm 12 weeks out and I feel like that's not even like, I probably don't even have the medicine in my body anymore. So, um, I guess what I want people to understand is that, um, you know, this is a supplement and it's not something you take when you feel like you have aches and pains. It's something you take every day and you supplement your body for optimum health. And then from there, um, you watch your body change. I mean, in so many ways, my sleep, my, um, just overall health, um, my sugar's down, all my blood work, everything. And so I feel like if, um, more people just stayed on it to like watch the change, you know, or I know I've had some people start it that, you know, tried it for a month. And when I went to the Mayo Clinic for a second opinion, they told me the only way this works is if, if it builds up in your system over time. And so, I mean, I can tell you it took me three months to feel anything, but I'm two years into it now. And every day I feel better than I did the day before. So anyway, I just wanted to share and hopefully this is my answer because I really don't want to be in that kind of pain again. So um, have a good day and um, thanks for listening.